What's up guys, Bonacle Brian is back again with another Transformers video review. My second review of the Shield review. Um, this one's Special Ops Jazz. And I gotta hand it to you guys, I'm really impressed with this one. Um, now, Fallback was my first ever Reveal the Shield guy. He was cool, but he's, you know, he's just a repaint. The real meat of the re Reveal the Shield are these guys. Because they are G1 icons. And, of course, they got the rub signs. Of all of my three Reveal the Shield guys, yeah, I said it, three Reveal the Shield guys, Jazz is the worst of the rub signs. Like, it takes, like, 50,000 tries just to get just to get this to work right. But once you get it right, it looks really good on him. And there's no other Autobot symbols on them, which is kind of a bit of a disappointment. I don't doubt that there's going to be a Ricochet repaint of this. If there is a Ricochet repaint of this, I'm buying it no matter what. Now, yeah. Uh, if you pop open the doors, he's actually got little speakers. And, they're on, and the speakers are on these little 3mm clips, but I don't see how you're going to... But I don't see any reason why you'd put the speakers on any of your other guys. Now, don't get me wrong. The speakers are cool. But they work with Jazz. And only Jazz. Now, if, now if they do a Ricochet repaint, I'd suggest, like, missile launchers. Or, like, just something to replace the speakers. Like, just to give them a bit of a difference. You know, yeah. If they do end up doing a Ricochet repaint... Um, I spent a minute on his trans of just his car mode already, but just just look at the car mode. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. The only thing that's like kind of a downer. I'm sorry, but I have to crack on something about it. The transformation's too short. What the hell? But you know, yeah. Don't get me wrong, the transformation might be short, but it is definitely fun to do. So basically to transform, you're going to open up the doors. And the hands are right there. I'm going to explain something I love about the hands in just a second. Uh, this is going to... His legs are going to come down like that. Split them. Uh, oh, flip his feet out. And then grab it by there. Fold it completely up. And that's going to be his leg. He's got a full auto transformation for a leg. Kind of like Bumblebee's, but unlike Bumblebee's, his is awesome when it works. And it doesn't... And I don't see any way the automorph function on this could get jammed. Because if you remember on my Bumblebee review, I explained how his legs kind of... Stuff Bumblebee's review... I explained how the little bits and gears in his legs sometimes get jammed if you're not transforming them right, and it's impossible to get the to get them to work. Anyways, yeah, pull pull those up, pull those arms up. I'll pull them back a little bit. They do get a little taller. Whoops! Almost forgot. This hides up right underneath his hood. And this is probably my favorite part of the transformation. Because once you get his arms all out like that. And his head's right there. Just push this down. And voila! His head pops up. I love that. I'm like you can already tell just by just how I said that. How much I love this figure. Yeah, I might do a reshoot of this one with my camera to show off a few other bits. Oh, that's going to be down like that. Flip it up. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm just stunned. Like, Jazz has always been one of my favorite characters. And when 2.0 came out, I expected there to be a classic Jazz, and there wasn't, and I got pissed. I am very happy that they finally came up with classic Jazz. And I am very, very, very happy with it. Uh, special op, special op jazz is what he's called. 
the pistol transforms and just slides right into his hands. And speaking of the hands, I expected it just to be a simple little wrist swivel. The hands on a ball joint. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Now, just to be me, here's fallback. Yeah, you can tell that Braun was a cool figure all in all. Fallback's just a repaint of that. He's got the same good qualities of Braun with just a little bit of fallbacks. Fallback. <laughs> I'm going to stop. And if you want, I'm going to do this one more time. If you want to see Braun's review, there you go. So, yeah. There's really nothing much else I can say about him. Like, no joke. Here's how well he fits in the classics line. Here's Red Alert. That's ridiculous. How well he fits in the classic line. And just to be me, here's Humphrey the Decepticons Electrostatic Jolt. I was playing with him and I had him in a pose. And yeah, I fixed the feet. If you want to see his review, there you go. I did a lot of snapping. But, you know, yeah, there's really nothing much else I can say about him. He is just that awesome. Uh, yeah. I think that of the Reveal the Shield guys, until I get Generations Optimus, he's my favorite. Of the figures right now, he's my favorite. Um, well, not him. He's my second favorite. My third favorite being Fallback. Yes, I have three Reve Reveal the Shield guys. And I'm actually really happy that I have. But anyways, yeah. I gotta get this review done. Uh, I, I want to talk so much about this, but... There's really nothing much else to say. He's just that awesome. And I'm really happy that I picked him up. I've been... What, I, like, if you're a hardcore Transformers fan like me... You would be begging and begging and begging... For one of your favorite characters as a classics figure. I highly doubt they're gonna, actually going to do a new mold for Lyle Convoy. Hey Hasbro, there's an idea. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid, what can I say? Uh, but, you know, yeah. Bing. If you want to reveal the shield stuff, Bing. There's your guy. So, yeah, um... At any rate, this is Bionicle Combiner signing out from the re video review of Transformers Reveal the Shield Special Ops Jazz.